okay what's up guys so here we are reviewing the first car in my life this is the honda n6r na2 so this is my first drive review i've ever done in my life so bear with me it might suck a little bit but i'll try my best to give you the best content i'll talk about more about how does it feel like owning this car instead of more about um how does it drive like or um the history of the car but first i would like to go over some basic stuff of the car so let's go for a drive first so this car was actually built in 2002 so this is the facelift version of the n6 so they actually only built uh 152 of these while they built around 483 of the na1 version this car is finished in champion white with the 17 inches champion white wheels as well so people have been wondering what is the difference between the na1 and na2 because they are 10 years apart 10 years apart so firstly let's go over the gearbox this one have the six speed and the na1 has the five speed so six speed better fuel economy not bad right and a shorter gear ratio as well and the second thing so the NA1 has like the Alcantara leather across the entire interior but this one has just leather regular leather I don't understand why they did that because like personally Alcantara is definitely my favorite over like regular leather it's more like intense hardcore racing like and people has actually debate between this it's about the iconic pop-up headlight this one no, like, no longer has it it's been replaced it with the HID unit some might say it might look nicer but it's definitely not iconic as the NA1 and also the NA2 also has a different bumper front bumper and rear bumper and has a bigger spoiler and deck lid and the another difference of the car of the NA1 and NA2 is the shift knob the shape of the shift knob this one used a spherical design I think it's you hold it better on on your hand it feels better to me and it's made titanium as well like the na1 but every single time you drive it take off your wedding rings because this car is only in right hand drive and then you have to use your left arm to shift that's why I take off your wedding ring guys if you're married if you're single doesn't matter but if you're married take off your wedding ring. you don't want to scratch the titanium on the shift knob it's not cheap to replace that all right so now let's talk about the major difference between the na1 and na2 so uh the na2 has the 3.2 liter v6 while the na1 has the 3.0 liter v6 so what they did is like um they have like a really skillful honda technician like the, from the racing department to measure every single component from the engine very very precisely so there will be like a less weight tolerance and they also have revised all the suspension dampers sway bars and fun fact is this car is around 290 horsepower while the 360 challenge Sridali is around 100 more 100 something more but they actually have the same lap time across the Nürburgring which is kind of interesting so how does it manage so probably the aerodynamic is the handling I guess so people been wondering what does this car drive like actually I heard my friend saying this is actually a Japanese version of the Korea GT why is that it's because of the clutch actually the biting point of the clutch is kind of weird it's kind of like at the edge once you release it like every single time I hop into the car I have to get used to it because like I daily my uh, M2 and my Mugen are out every single day like either one of them so they drive properly they have like the regular clutch or whatever but every time I step into the NS6 I have to get used to it again it's kind of a bummer but it's kind of like the unique experience it gave you so now let's talk about the steering of the car the steering of the car is really go-kart like like every motion you give it you feel really di directly connected to the road you can feel every single rock 
every single pothole you, you're gonna see I'm I'm like struggling to like talk right now because like this road is extremely bumpy it's extremely crappy so what are the pros and cons about it so the pros about it is you get to feel every single bit of the road all right so when you're driving fast it's definitely fine but once you're going slow around the traffic it's a pain in the ass man it's a pain in the ass i hate it like once i was kind of i was kind of sick and i was i was trying to parallel park my car on the street after parking i was sweating like a pig man i'm not even kidding it was back in summer in 2018 i swear to god i'll never drive this car when i when i'm sick it's just a pain in the ass this sucks now i'll probably talk about the throttle response of the car it's very quick but the car is not instant quick like modern car you can never compare classic old cars to like modern car which is like insanely fast like 600 horses or like an m5 it's not like that it's about the feeling you get from point A to point B. It's the, it's the emotions you have like driving the car. It's the connection they offer you. And the engine. This car loves to rev. It's just keep revving and revving. Like it encourages you to rev. Awesome. Let's just keep refing, man. It's insane. You can literally just stay at second gear for the entire B row, man. So it's now 7 a.m. We have been start filming for this video at 4 a.m. After driving this car, it's just wake me up, man. Every single time I drive it, it gives me a smile on my face. Every single time, no matter what time, what date, what kind of environment, what kind of mood I am. Every time I drive it, it just gives me that feeling in my heart to bond with the car so I don't think there's any car in the future that will be made can be compared to this unicorn this is my first drive review video um, let me know if there's anything that you would like to see in the future and let me know what I can improve subscribe to my channel thank you man appreciate for it. appreciate for every single views that and every single comment you guys gave me it totally helps it doesn't matter if it's good or bad just just tell me i'm i'm a really open up guy so i'm i'm always here to improve myself so thank you for watching the video